Hello babes, welcome to Moonspell Tarot. So today we are doing our July 4th, 2020 reading. Um, I apologize if you hear a lot of fireworks. My neighbors have already started. It's like super early in the morning. So I apologize um, if you hear some loud cracks. Uh, but it's just kind of how it is today, right? So today we are going to do a few tarot cards, a few of our astrology oracle, and then a few of our Alice in Wonderland uh, oracle. So before I jump in the cards, I just wanted to remind you to please hit that subscription button down below. It really helps me out a lot and lets me know if you enjoyed this video. And also feel free to leave me any recommendations for pick a cards. So let's go ahead and take a nice good deep breath and then we will go ahead and shuffle. So... Okay, so what is going on today for 4th of July? Well, I know a lot of people are off work today because it's Saturday, which is nice. Um, you know, a lot of stuff is going on in the world. So let's see what is happening today for us. Okay, so first we have Queen of Wands. So I feel like just right off the bat, you know, some of us will feel like, like, I feel like we want to, um, you know, kind of like stay home today. Um, you know, especially hearing about like some of the virus situation is getting much worse in some areas. So I feel like a lot of us want to celebrate today. We want this growth. We want, you know, to like enjoy time with our families. We want to feel like, um, we have moved on past this situation, but I feel like many of us are going to like spend this day um, already in solidarity, you know, um, or at least with just like our immediate family. Um, I don't feel like a lot of us are going to be going out, you know, for parties and stuff like that. I do feel like we are going to be, um, you know, feeling the need to maybe like stay home more, many of us. So that's what I'm seeing first. Okay. And then we have the chariot reverse. So again, I'm feeling like, um, you know, we all have this, we have like a want to go out, of course, like many of us um, probably usually like go to cookouts and stuff like that. So I do feel like, you know, unfortunately, like many of us are going to feel, uh, you know, better about staying inside. We're going to feel um, safer staying inside and we will feel, um, you know, like just more safe that way, especially like, you know, normally with uh, firework shows and stuff like that it's like really large crowds of people in parks and on beaches and stuff like that so I do like ultimately feel like uh, many of us are going to want to stay inside and it's kind of going to be like um a global consciousness thing like at least in the United States to kind of like stay in and stay away from a lot of people I do feel like that is just kind of like the the vibe going all around and we're not going to uh feel the need to go anywhere Okay, so um, next we have Justice Reverse. So um, I do feel like, you know, for the people who do want to stay home, for those of us who are going to want to, you know, play it safe, I do feel like, you know, we won't feel bad about it. It's just kind of like, it's something that we know we have to do. It's not something that's going to um, really, like, make us overly upset. I do feel like you can still, like, enjoy you know, fireworks at home because maybe like your neighbors are doing them or if you live close to like a park or something like that, of course, you're still going to see them. So I do feel like it's something that you're not really going to be upset about. We will, um, you know, end the day off feeling satisfied and feeling good with that, uh, you know, with our decision to stay home. So I do feel like overall it's, you know, it's going to be a good day, probably more of a quieter 4th of July than what we have experienced, you know, in a long time. So I do feel like that is something that you know, it's kind of like also good because of, you know, the virus is, you know, not doing so great again in many states. So I do feel like, you know, a lot of us are going to make that decision to stay inside. Okay. Okay, so we have escape. So I feel like today is a good day to kind of just like escape these like bad feelings that we have you know I feel like right now so many of us are 
you know, stressed about um, what is going on in the world. It just seems very, like, scary right now. So I feel like today, you know, as it being 4th of July, um, it provides, like, a good escape for us to kind of, like, forget about these problems. It's a good day to, like, have fun, you know, even if you don't feel comfortable going to, like, a really big cookout or something like that, which... You know, I'm feeling like many of us won't. I do feel like it's still like a good and positive thing to, you know, maybe like celebrate at home if you're able to grill at home, if you're able to, you know, maybe have like a really small get together with like your immediate family. Um, I do feel like that is going to provide a good escape. Um, having that like love around us and that friend around or friends around us is going to just make us feel so much better. And it's like a really good form of like escapism from, you know, our everyday problems. And even, like, throughout the day, if you don't feel like doing, like, a bunch of grilling and stuff like that, even if you, like, just staying home and watching movies, I think today is, like, a big day for us, like, doing things to uh, kind of, like, escape the problems of the world and escape our problems. It's just, like, a good day uh, to kind of, like, relax and free our minds of that, right? Okay, so we have use your time well, make every moment count. So, you know, today, like if you are, you know, choosing to stay home and you're not going to, you know, be out and about doing stuff, make sure you use your time for something valuable. Use it uh, to hang out with your family, hang out with friends. Um, if you are, you know, wanting to kind of be like more of a hermit today and not be around a lot of people, you know, use your time towards something valuable that's going to make you feel better. If today, you know, working on like a goal of yours, um, you know, doing like an art project, something like that, uh, do something for yourself that's going to make you feel positive. One thing, like for instance, that's going to make me feel good, uh, this morning is like working on my gardening and uh, getting some things done out there because some things are getting a little bit wild. Um, so, you know, it is very like beneficial to do things to like, um, you know, use your time well. So like today, if you're feeling a little bit down about, you know, what's going on in the world, make sure you're doing something positive with your day so you can kind of like escape that reality and not feel so um, like overwhelmed by the world's problems. So thank you so much. I hope you all have a really great 4th of July. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if this video helped you at all, at all and you enjoyed it. Um, also, if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of the information will be in my description box, uh, my email, and then like the rates and everything like that. Also, if this video resonated with you anyway and you are in a giving mood, I do accept kip, uh, tips via Cash App and PayPal. Um, it's not necessary, but it is very appreciated um, if you do um, you know, want to do that. So all of that's in my description box. If you're interested in any of those things, please hit me up down there. And otherwise, I hope you guys have a nice holiday. Please stay safe out there and have a great day.